Hi everybody and welcome back to Skipper Sandra. I'm your skipper, Sandra. How's it been going? I hope everybody's been having a good time. Have you been working on any of those projects for the Australian animals? I really hope so. I'd love to see what you're doing. Please post pictures down below or go over to my Facebook page, although that contact information is down below, and let me see the wonderful work that you're doing. I've been busy myself. As you can see, I had a great time with this new cowl, and this is yarn that I've been uh, coveting for a while. I got it uh, for myself. My daughter saw it. She said, I wanted it. I want it. I said, well, what do you want me to make out of it? And she's like, I don't know. And I said, okay, well, you need to tell me what you want me to make out of it. And time's gone on, time's gone on, and nothing's happened. And so finally I said, hey, what do you want? And she's like, well, why don't you make something for your future grandchild? And I decided, nope, I wanted to make something for myself. So I made this cow. She's fallen in love. And luckily, I have enough. Oops, I have enough for another one. So let's talk about this pattern. This actually was a pretty, really good pattern. I really enjoyed it. Uh, there, there was a couple little things that I really had to read through. So as always, when you're looking at a pattern, read through the whole thing first to get an idea, especially when you're a beginner, when you're first starting to read patterns, to get kind of a, a feel for what you're going to be doing because all of their patterns have, will always have all kinds of information to it. This is called Oh My Cole. Cowl, sorry, oh my cowl, and uh, this is from Moogly pa uh, Patterns, and I love them. They really have uh, some great, great patterns, and this is from Tamara Kelly. And as you can see from the photo, they used uh, like a creamy tan color with another cream color, and I used a cream color with a pink, and I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's kind of, it has a very, very faint, you can't really see it in the camera, it has a very, very faint, iridescent thread in it so it just just a smidge of a little sparkle and it makes the day just a little more fun so this pattern um, called for a J six millimeter hook and actually because I used a different yarn I used a different size hook uh, they did lion brown collection uh, baby alpaca baby alpaca or alpaca in general is a great fiber to use and it's hollow I don't know if you know that so it makes it lighter and it's antimicrobial, so it's one of those fabulous ones. If you can't wear wool, alpaca is a great alternative. I personally like alpaca a lot more than wool, but then again, I can't stand the itchies of the wool. So I'm gonna put the link for this particular pattern down below. Go check it out, it's beautiful, but understand this, I really enjoyed this pattern. So kind of, you know, so you can see this kind of fan stitch it's just alternating, it was very, it, it's actually a very simple construction, uh, but it was super, super nice and it comes out with a very lovely effect. So you can do all kinds of things because it's, it's a cow, you know, you know how that goes. Um, but the lovely thing about this is that you can do it in any color combination. It's going to look fabulous and you can make it in any length. You can make it shorter or longer, whatever you want to do. So I will post this pattern and the yarn that I particularly used was, it's called, it's from Red Heart and it's the Heigen Charm. I'm probably mispronouncing that. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a size four and it called for an eye hook and that's exactly what I used. I used an eye hook. It worked out very well for me. Let me see if I can pull out the hook and like always I have my little bag and this is actually, I, if you guys remember, this was from the Yarn Crawl I believe it was 2018 and they had tote bags which I probably should have brought my tote bag so you can see it because I use it for work uh, it has a big octopus on it anyway the reclaimed bags plastic bags that they create big tote bags and little utility bags in and so let me see is my hook in here oh no because I already started on my daughter's she decided she wanted one identical so we're twinsies a lot when it comes to when it comes to scarves and cowls and things so here's the start of the next one. So I literally sat there having a uh, Star Wars marathon and I just watched one Star Wars movie after another, had a great time, discovered a flaw in the storyline. I may be wrong, I usually am, but I think I discovered a flaw in the storyline. So in one of the later movies where Presumably, that was Anakin. Oh, 
maybe I, I'm, I'm not, oh, yeah, maybe I didn't find the, okay, it's a complicated storyline, so you have to forgive me. Anyway, so we started, I, that's, I started that one. This is that bamboo style uh, set that I like so much. And it's right over here. So this is from Likey. Remember, and I think I got this again at the last, this last run. And it's just one of the, the hooks from this set. I do really, I love this set. And I love the feel of these uh, books. They also have them in a blue, and we all know how Sandra feels about blue, so I'll probably have to get in the blue as well. But it's a great set, and it's nice to travel with, and you can use this for, uh, you know, stitch markers and all kinds of things. This stands up so that you can see all your hooks, and I mean, it's a great little case. I really enjoyed the case. I think it's great. It has this great pocket in the front to check it because I forget I put things in different places so it has a great pocket in the front it has another zipper pocket in this fold that again we'll just check it high down something Ooh, little there's stitch markers and this one doesn't want to come out oh okay this is my snail stitch marker can you see that it's a stitch marker and this is an a llama. Isn't that cute? And it's on the claw. And I know we've talked about stitch markers before, but we're going to have another conversation about stitch markers, how to create and make your own stitch markers, um, or just buy them. You know, there's so many great designs out there that you don't have to make your own, but if you find something that you really enjoy, then you can transfer it over to a stitch marker and we're gonna have a conversation about that we're gonna have a very crafty day one day and make stitch markers but in the meantime so this is the bamboo hook this is the start so you can see where I'm at and it repeats it has a, a four row repeat so you really get to learn the pattern quite well but it's easy to follow too if you lose track because like I said I was watching Star Wars and I lost track so I did have to take it apart so there was there was some frogging going on but okay, so here's the two yarns. So this is the one yarn. Again, this is the Red Heart Huygen Charm yarn. It's 100% acrylic. And this color is Meteor. So it's this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful pink. And can you see just barely, you can see that little glitter in there. And it's just a little bit of iridescent glitter. And this is the same yarn, only this color is called starlight so we have meteor and which i don't understand that but okay meteor and starlight and it's they're beautiful again it's a very soft creamy colors in both of them uh, i'm just in love with it you know and of course my daughter is too and we're going to be twinsies again so great great yarn if you haven't used it before again it's machine washable a size four it is an eye hook and um really easy to work with. I will tell you though, this particular yarn, when I was working with it, it's an S, um, it's an S, so when you're spinning, there's actually different ways of spinning the yarn together, of the yarn twisting. So the twist on this yarn is S. Most, almost all yarn is S. They're starting to discover, or they've discovered, and Furls actually discover, uh, is the big one that's pushing it that I've seen. I could be wrong. If I am, I'm happy to be wrong because I'd like to know about more yarns that have the Z twist. So for those of us who crochet, the Z twist prevents the yarn from un untwisting so it lays flat. So this particular yarn does that quite easily. So as you're crocheting, if you get a little fast and not paying attention, you'll split the yarn easily. <laughs> Not too easily, but it is something to be watchful of as you're pulling the hook in and out, creating, you know, stitches. You want to make sure that you don't split the yarn so it keeps that nice form. But other than that, as you can see, it, you know, here I was very distracted. You know, I'm watching a movie. I'm making commentary. I'm talking to my family. I'm playing with my dog, which, by the way, I don't know where he's at. I think he ran off but we're doing all of that kind of thing and it turned it just was easy to do it was a lot of fun and i could just sit there uh with a very upset tummy yesterday it was not a happy camper 
uh, again, oh my cool. And it actually has a matching hat. So when you go on there, it'll have a link for the matching hat. Am I gonna make the hat? I don't know. I promised my daughter, that uh, Tori, that I would make her the cowl first. So we'll make the cowl and see how much yarn I still have left over. And I'm telling you, we I, I already made the one. I'm gonna make the other, and I'm pretty sure I'll probably have a little bit left over. There are 432 yards in this uh, in the one skein. So each skein has 432 yards. Now again, remember this is a uh, larger yarn that they call for, and they're saying they only use 230. So if that it's comparable, then you figure you're gonna get two cowls out of one skein. So I, I think I did, you know, I think it did came out really well. I, again, I had a lot of fun. And I already wore it to work today because I had to. So here we go. I'm just going to undo it here so you can see how the cowl looks. And it's not longer on one side. It's just that I'm holding it up that way. But see, it's the same size. And it's just, it's really pretty. It's just a very easy uh, pattern to use. And I enjoyed it and it kept my neck nice and warm. I don't know about you guys, where you guys are all from. But here in Oregon, they're anticipating finally getting some uh, snow tomorrow. But they're just saying it's gonna be a snow flurry mixed with uh, rain, so that means it's just slush. And I'm hoping for that, but it still worries me because to, tonight it's supposed to go down to 28, which means it's below freezing. It rained all day today, so that means potential for ice. And if there's ice, I can't get out of my driveway. And if I can't get it out of my driveway, that means I can't get down my street. So there's a possibility I'm not going to work tomorrow. We'll see. All right. So there's that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that next week on Monday is Martin Luther King's birthday. And then also on uh, the next day, the following day on Tuesday, the 21st is hugging day. And what do you do to give yourself a hug? Sometimes we all need a hug, and, and, and I've had people tell me that wrapping themselves in a warm blankie is like getting a hug from a family member who maybe made that blankie for them. Uh, uh, watching a movie, a, a certain scent. What, what's your hug, and how can you give someone a hug? Now, I don't want you to be weird, okay? No, no being weird. Uh, so it doesn't mean that you're going to go out and you're not going to tell them, hey, Skipper Sandra told us to go and give hugs to everybody. That's not how that works. We don't want to do that. We want to be careful. But how can you give somebody a hug without physically going, mm -mm, you know, how can you give somebody a hug with words, with love, or with gifts? So I'd love to hear what you guys have planned. I don't know what I'm going to do yet to uh, honor Hug Day on Tuesday. And sometimes a hug can be something as simple as just letting someone speak. So what's your Hug Day? going to be like I'd like to know let me know uh, as always hit subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit the little bell so you know when next time we come it's all down there down there uh, and I'll have all the links down there and all the information and come visit me on Facebook and share with me your projects what do you have on your hook what do you not have on your hook and what would you like to see if there's anything in particular that you'd really like to see share that with me I would love to make sure that we cover that information for you because there's so many great things when it comes to yarn and crocheting and fiber and all of those fabulous things. All right, everyone, I hope you're being good to yourself. I'm trying to, and I will talk to you guys next week. And from Skipper Sandra, I say, see you soon. Bye, everyone.